aka Shaka Fuego, aka Shaka Ben, aka SB Panther, aka Shaka Flame. Listen, man. A lot of people been getting mad like I'm hating on Naoya in a way. Or Naoya in a way. As the Americans might say. Or Naoya in a way. As some Americans say as well. But listen, bro. They think I'm hating because not only did Mayweather, but Adrian Broner say that they would like him to get drug tested. I think Naoya in a way is nice, and I'm not going to keep saying that because I don't have to keep explaining myself because I'm not a, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say it, but I I like in a way. All right, I think he's nice. I think he's real talented. I think that he whooped Fulton's ass. Enough has to be said. Y'all might not like the way I appreciate the fighters, but I mean it is what it is. So a lot of boxers have said that they want him to come over to the U.S. and take drug tests. Now, since y'all think I'm unbiased, I mean biased or whatever it is. We got and I and I've have videos of liking this boxer. <clears throat> She's a beautiful woman. Her name is Alicia Bumgarner. Apparently, she's tested positive for a steroid. Anthony Joshua also said that he pays extra money to ensure that the people he fight against aren't using steroids because it's rampant in the sport of boxing, right? And the person that Anthony Joshua was opposed to fate, which is Weiss, uh, White, tested positive before the fight. So it's not an unrealistic thing to be like, maybe now Oya should come over and take drug tests and stuff. Because I know these are y'all superheroes and stuff like that. <clears throat> but I'm, in, I'm part of the real world, man. I'm part of the real world. People use drugs. A lot of professional athletes use drugs. It's just what it is, man. It's not a crazy thing to me. It happens. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into this, man. Alicia Bumgarner. You can't say I'm biased to her because I have videos praising Bumgarner. I think she's really nice looking. You know what I'm talking about? Really talented. So we got breaking. Per four sources with knowledge of results and paperwork I obtained, undisputed woman's 130-pound champion Alicia Bumgarner tested positive for banned steroid mesterolone. In a 7 to 12 urine test uh, conducted by Drug Free Sport three days prior to the Lennard Datua fight. Results come back 8 10. Meaning that more than likely she was waiting for them to, waiting for that steroid to clear out of the system. But let's get into it. I don't know why people think it's, I'm hating because I say that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just what it is, bro. It happens. Canelo's tested positive before a lot of fighters use that <clears throat> isn't that something crazy bro so we got alicia bumgarner here nobody can say i'm a hater of alicia bumgarner on all this um i mean look at her i'm not hating anything on her but if she's using steroids she's using steroids bro nah i ain't hating that you know what i'm saying so y'all y'all say what y'all want to, but White just tested positive. I mean, we don't know what goes on behind these cameras, bro. We don't know what goes on behind the cameras because at the end of the day, it's about money and it's about the fight. I mean, it's about it's really about money at the end of the day. It breaks down the business. Them people, as long as they can pass their drug tests, they know how the system works and all that, you never know what they're doing, right? And at the end of the day, they only care about them pay-per-view vibes. And, they, you know, the trainer's going to care about the health of the, the people, I mean, the fighters and the people around them. But we're not going to be unrealistic to say that fighters are completely drug-free and everybody's just sticking to the script and everybody's sticking to the code and there's no such thing as cheating going on. When somebody said, I can't remember who exactly quoted it, but boxing is one of the dirtiest sports out there, you know? It is what it is. I mean, damn. So I'm gonna get into another video of somebody going more in depth about um, cause they're not getting more, uh, they're not really getting into it. You know what I'm saying? But we got another one of of him getting more into depth with it. 
We're gonna react to that Cause it's just a, It's just an unsettling reality You know what I'm saying Wars happen Things People pass You know It's just part of life bro. Everybody Hold on Let's go For subscribe Also hit the notification bell So you'll be notified When I drop a new video <laughs> If you're digging the video is, Go ahead and share this joint So Alicia Baumgartner There are Rumors swarming all over the place that she has failed a random urine test for provirin. Um, now, I haven't seen seen any confirmation on Shout that. Out to um, people in my chat earlier on my show this morning told me that uh, it was reported by the brother Southern T. Shout out to him on his channel that she had failed the test. And uh, then I did some research and I seen that Dan Raphael had put it out on his uh, Twitter. Uh, Eddie Hearn basically confirmed that she failed the test, but he said he couldn't speak on it. He'll speak on it in a half an hour or some mess like that. Right. But regardless of the fact, I want to speak on uh, her allegedly failing this test. Um, Proviron is a drug uh, that it's a mild steroid for, for men. It's a mild steroid. Now, it is more androgenic than it is anabolic, Okay. So it's not we really, it's not muscle steroid. building steroid, but it will, um, it's very a uh, androgenic. So in a woman, this is going to give her, uh, somewhat masculine features. Okay. And also right, what wow. is used for by men who are bodybuilders, uh, most exactly. of the time they use. And that's what I was going to say. And a lot of the bodybuilders use steroids. What the hell going on, on my screen, bro? I think my screen broken. I hate to have that to happen. Unless, anyways, anyways, yeah. A lot of bodybuilders use steroids as well. Use Proviron as in a PCT, um, just because some people feel like they got to stay on something. When they're coming off of a cycle, some of them psychologically feel like they got to be on something. So they'll take some Proviron, and Proviron kind of works as an AI um, aromatase inhibitor. It kind of works in the same way that uh, other aromatase inhibitors work. It um, stops the aromatization of estrogen into testosterone. So, um, excuse me, it stops the aromatization of t testosterone into estrogen, I should say. But in a woman, I'm not sure what exactly it's going to do in a woman. So, it has to have, if it's, if it's, if men use it. My son just broke my laptop screen, bro. That shit just blew me. And I'm sure women can get benefit from it, um, most definitely. It's got to be stronger in the woman. But the problem I'm having with this particular uh, drug being found in her system, allegedly, is that this is a drug that's been around since the inception, since they first, since testosterone been around. It's been around the 1930s. And if this drug been around Damn. this long, everybody tests for this. You know what I'm saying? Every testing agency tests for this. Um, the Nevada State Athletic Commission, God Michigan, damn. everybody tests. Anybody that does a random drug test in any sport tests for this particular compound. It's on everybody's list. So I have a hard time believing Alicia Baumgartner would knowingly take a drug that's going to get you popped. Like, when usually when that's I think crazy. people are guilty... Is when it's a designer drug, a pro hormone, uh, uh, a SARM, you know, a selective androgen receptor modulator, something like that. That's kind of new, you know what I mean? But when it's a when it's a, a, a anabolic androgenic steroid, those are on everybody's list. So it's like you got to be extremely arrogant or an idiot. To take something that you know you're getting tested for, right? Um, that's that's what's weird to me. So I could be wrong. I'm not trying to come up here and defend Alicia Baumgartner and, and right, it is throw what my it is. cape for her or nothing like that. She could be flat out guilty. Maybe the pressure of, of uh, winning was just too much and she felt like she had to take something, whatever. I just have a hard time believing that you would take something that you know you're going to test positive for. You know what I'm saying? Um it's sneakier things to take. It's better things to take than providing. Man, he talking like somebody who really know the game, too. Okay. But then again, <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure why a woman would take it because 
like I said, it's not like Anavar. Like Anavar is something that a woman can take. Even though Anavar, you will test positive for it too. Anavar is not as andro androgenic. Uh, it's anabolic. Okay, so Anavar is something that's, you know, per particularly safe for women to take, right? Uh, in small dosages, and they can get uh, extreme benefits. A lot of the wrestlers on WWE are on steroids. Like a lot of people who have those super massive bodies are juicing, man. Uh, a vascularity and, 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 and you know strength from Anavar. You know what I'm saying? But why would, why you would take something that is um, more androgenic than anabolic is weird to me. Unless, unless. What is androgenic? Your and dealer anabolic? was a bad dealer, and he lied to you. See. Anavar is extremely expensive. All right. It's extremely expensive. So sometimes dealers, what they'll do is they'll get some Winstraw or Proviron. Okay. They'll get that and then sell it yeah, to you as Anavar. It ain't like people is really testing their juice. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes dealers will sell people uh, Winstraw or Proviron, especially to women that work out and uh, uh, stuff like that because they ain't gonna know they're gonna feel some they ain't gonna know what they're doing anyway most of them so they sell them that stuff and then bam you pop dirty and you and you're like man how I pop dirty I didn't take this you know woo woo yeah. you know it's a sad situation now, I'm not saying Alicia did this uh, this very just, well if she just, did just speaking the game for real that's positive it could be a mistake you know what I'm saying a mix up or one of them strength and conditioning coaches. Strength and conditioning coaches, um, you know, trainers, whatever. This is why you got to be very careful. Uh, this is why fighters don't like drinking nothing at press conferences. They don't like leaving, you know what I'm saying, drinking stuff that people gave you, eating food that, that somebody didn't get. None of that stuff in the build-up to a fight or immediately after a fight right. because this type of stuff, somebody can spike you. You know right. what I'm saying? It's a dirty game. Somebody can spike you. Now... I don't know what Alicia's case is. I'm, I hope she didn't do this because, you know, j the women's boxing has been picking up. It's been exciting watching her and Clarissa, hmm. um, you know, do their thing. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to 78 Sports TV, bro. Uh, I just made a video on Clarissa Shields and Alicia Baumgartner. And, you know, I support them, but... Uh, I know, I know, uh, you know what I'm saying? I know a little something, you feel me? And it's not crazy to assume that some fighters are on steroids, some fighters are using performing enhancement drugs, whether you like who I'm talking about or not, because uh, I've never said anything to make you feel like I'm biased towards Alicia Baumgartner, so here it is. It's just part of the game, you know what I'm saying? I feel like some people can't deal with the realities of life sometimes. And and then when I when it's about your superhero, you you start getting defensive and blah, blah, blah. I think Nao is a great fighter. Uh, I don't think he's, like, uh, number two pound for pound after Crawford, but that's all subjective. And everybody has their opinions. But do I think that sports and athletes, I mean, sports athletes and uh, high-level elite athletes, some of them use performing enhancement drugs or steroids? Yeah, I absolutely do. And that's just what it is. Um, I got to check out my laptop. It's It's cracked. <laughs> But it's your boy Shaka Billion and Mafia So the done died the news with an unchuck swinging behind his back AKA Shaka Black AKA Shaka Billion AKA Shaka Fuego AKA Shaka Flame Man uh, Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below Like, comment, subscribe, transcribe, inscribe Man, do what you do And let me know what y'all think Cause I, I just keep it unbiased and I just keep it real You know what I'm saying Everybody can't handle real Um, uh, I wanna see Naoya shine You know what I'm saying I didn't even know he was 30, you know what I'm saying? I just got on Naoya, so I'm not a diehard fan of Naoya, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not a diehard fan of anybody. I only worship God, you get what I'm saying? So, it is what it is, but I am, I do like these fighters. Um, I do like what they do. Uh, Alicia is going to get through it, you know. Naoya is going to come. He's going to do his thing. Everybody's going to do that thing, and I want to see everybody win at the end of the day. Uh, but some people just don't don't like when you say something that's not absolutely positive about the heroes but this is the reality man hey it's your boy signing out peace